everyone and welcome to the Ling Ladder today. I thought I'd do a quick review and a demo of my new binding machine. So I got the hmm, Tyans <laughs> brand, um, that's the name if you want to google it, off of Amazon. It says it can bind 450 sheets, max binding rate, and it can punch 12 sheets. It has a measuring scale here, so we have A5 which is 15 holes and A4 which is 21 holes. It has the different um, page numbers uh, and what size in well what inch and what millimeter uh, binding coil you should purchase depending on the pages that you're using which is very handy it also has a tray at the back to gather all of your hole punchings which you can pull out and um throw away or <laughs> recycle um and then it also has a margin indicator so we've got a three inch four inch and a five inch margin indicator it punches and binds using the handle here which you can actually remove and then just attach when you want to do it or bind or hole punch if you want to because obviously it does stick up but I've just got it in a place where it's fine and I don't want to keep taking it on and off but you can do and it's just a very easy screw here that you just um, attach okay so let's give you a little demo so I have something that I need to bind um, and hole punch these are the pages for the beautiful feet around the world with picture books part two uh, coloring pages art pages um, and maps uh, so we'll start with those now I just say that you can punch 12 at a time um, I don't feel too comfortable doing that because I'm a little bit weak um, I have a neck issue and pulling this handle down for 12 pages is quite a lot quite a bit of strength <laughs> required um, so um, I find that my comfortable spot is five but don't judge me on that because you might easily do 12. I also do think it varies dramatically with the thickness of paper. I think my paper is a little bit thicker than what they um, anticipated when they said 12 but I don't know for, for certain. I just find that 5 is around where I'm not straining too much but you could probably get away with doing 10 um, without really straining yourself. So don't judge uh, my 5. You could probably do more um but i think that five is about the spot that i feel comfortable doing and i don't want to break it as well <laughs> but um i don't think that's misleading i just think i'm a little bit weak and um i think my paper's a little bit thicker than what they well they had in mind when they said 12. okay so i've got my five sheets i'm just going to make sure they're as straight as possible i have it set to a4 21 holes because that is obviously what i am wanting to uh, bind with is my coil binder. Um, I am just lining it up carefully and then all I'm going to do is pull the lever down. And there we have it, nicely punched. So I'm just going to do that for the rest of the document. When I purchased my binding machine I did actually get the clear sheet and the blue cardboard to go with. Now obviously you don't need to do that, you could just use a regular piece of card. Um, these were on sale which is why I bought them. Would I buy them again? I would probably buy the cardboard, um, not cardboard but you know the card but um, I depending on how much these were. Uh, I You could laminate it, which is another option, but I tend to really love using my laminators. I, I tend to want to use my laminating uh, other things, but um, that's an option to, to consider if they are more pricey. And um, what I tend to do is punch this by itself. So we'll just do that now. So obviously it's thicker. And then with this one, what I'll do is put a white piece of paper on top and then punch it just because they tend to stick a little bit. So if you put a white piece of paper on top, it, it really helps avoid that as much as possible. Uh, make sure you empty your tray after you've done your binding project because I've forgotten um, in the past and then when you go to do your next project, sometimes it can stick a little bit. So I found that the way to avoid that is to make sure you're emptying your tray. Okay, so next we'll get to binding. Now this coil is huge. Um, I definitely don't need one this big, but I've either got a small one or this one. <laughs> so you know, they won't fit on the small one. So basically um, I'm going to use this one. I do find it's very flexible anyway using the bigger coils for smaller documents it gives you um, e it's easier to turn your page so um, you know that's something to consider the smaller the coil then the tighter it is to actually turn the page and when you've got little ones you want to make it as easier as for them as possible um, so that is why I am using the bigger coil okay so to coil 
I mean comb. Did I say coil earlier? I meant comb, obviously. Okay, let's show how you actually do this. Okay, so you've got your comb here. You just position it in between the coils with the opening at the top. So I'll do that again so you can see clearly. So just sliding it down. It's really easy to actually get in position. Makes no difference what the size is. It's the, it's the same method, but you just need to make sure the opening is at the top. And we're in position. Okay, now with my binding machine, you uh, use your handle to open the, the comb, but you do it in the opposite way than what you would do if you're punching. So whereas before we pulled the handle down to actually um, punch, we pull it backwards to open our coil. And there you go, can you see it's opened the coil. Now to actually put everything in, you need to turn your document the right way round. Don't do it backwards because it will end up the wrong way round. Which um, might be obvious, but the first time I did it, I did it the wrong way round. So <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I always do my plastic sheet first. So. Okay, it's really easy to do. You just position your paper and um, balance it down. It's a lot easier to do when you're not trying to do it one-handed. There we go. Okay, there we go. So everyone is in position. Now what I do is the same way that I actually bound it. Um, sorry, the same way that I actually punched it is how I will... Uh, feed it onto the combs, so five at a time, because they're, they're all straight, as you can see, they're all perfectly in alignment. So I'm doing this with one hand, I'm really impressed with myself. <laughs> okay, so you can see it's quite easy to do, but it's obviously easier when you're using both hands. I've spoken too soon. Okay, so I decided to be sensible and put you down. There we go. So using two hands, just feed it through onto the combs. I can do this a lot faster when you're not watching me. <laughs> it's like when you try to type and someone's stood there, you suddenly forget where all the keys are and the type you typing just goes completely rubbish. But there we go. Don't let that reflect on the product. It's actually really simple to do. And then finally, I'll put the blue card on. Okay, now to seal it, you just pull it back, lift it off, and then with mine, it has little clips on to just push through um, to secure it into position. Can you see that little clip? So there's one, two, as you can see, this, co this comb is huge. I did not need one this big, but as I said, I didn't have a, uh, the right size, so we're just going with what we have. And again, put that last one through. Okay, and now let's have a look. There we go, so I just usually flatten it out because obviously it is too big, but there we go. All nice and bound, ready my daughter to use and the good thing about binding them is you can keep all your pictures together because if, if your little one's anything like mine they like to look back at their old drawings and things um, so it's all nicely kept together and to stop bleeding through the page or anything like that what I will do is just um, over so she can actually um, see the page without it bleeding through to the side. 
the other option obviously is as well is to put something underneath um, to stop it bleeding through if it's thin paper like mine um, but yes that is the how do you say it Tyance Tyance binding machine I'm really enjoying it it has been fabulous I have I have bound so many things it is definitely <laughs> worth the money um, and long may it survive <laughs> thanks for watching take care